Hello everybody, it's Squiddle the Little back here with another video and today in this video I'm going to be doing a mod showcase over the mod Galactic Craft. So basically this is a mod um, where you can go to space. So basically the last video I made was one over advanced rocketry, which is also one where you can go to space. Um, but I think this one is better just because it's, I don't know if you can go to other planets and, um, advanced rocketry you might be able to but just a lot um or like other than the moon on advanced rocketry but and you can in this one and it's just a lot easier so i'm going to be showing y'all how to make a rocket how to survive on the moon and everything so the first thing is to make a um rocket you need this which you put stuff and it's in a rocket shape which you need this stuff, or all of this. You don't need the chest, that's just an optional thing. And you, the first thing you'll need is the NASA workbench um, to make the rocket. So all you need for that is a crafting table, two um, levers, a redstone torch, four compressed steel, which is in a compressor, which I'll go over a little in a little bit. Um, how to make one. Don't use this. This is with a different mod. This is how you're supposed to make it with the Galactic Craft mod. So you need two coal and compressed iron in a compressor to get compressed steel. And just two iron to make compressed iron. And you'll need four of those. And then you'll need an advanced wafer, which um, this is a little harder. Um, you'll need a circuit fabricator, fabricator which is... Just two aluminum ingots, buttons, lever, furnace, redstone torch, two aluminum wires, which is just wool and aluminum. You'll need a diamond and raw, two raw silicon, redstone, and a redstone repeater. And you'll need, I think, some energy, which you can use with batteries, and then you'll get the advanced wafer. Okay, so the first thing that you need um, is a tier one rocket engine. Also, another thing, I'm... Uh, there's a bunch of different rocket tiers. I'm going over the tier one today, like they're tier three. And the difference between them is um, the higher tier ones can go to different um, planets. So the tier one can only go to Earth and um, the moon. Like, And then like, I think the tier two can go to like Mars and tier three, I think it can go to like Venus or something. I don't know. But uh, the first thing you'll need is a rocket engine. So uh, how you get this is you need a button, flint steel, copper canister, or a tin canister. How you get this is just copper like this. And if you, you can do the same thing with a tin canister, just tin like that. And then you'll need an oxygen vent, which is three compressed tin, which is just tin um, and a compressor. And then you'll also need compressed steel, which is, again, compressed iron and coal. Whoops. Now how to get that. And then you'll need um, four heavy-duty plates. And how to get heavy-duty plates, you need two compressed steel, two compressed aluminum, two compressed bronze, and you'll get two. So compressed bronze. Don't look at that. Um, unless you have this mod, then you can use it. Uh, mechanism. Uh, you'll need compressed copper which is just copper, whoops, and then compressed tin, which is just 210. You'll need compressed aluminum, which is just two aluminum, and then compressed steel, which is the iron, which is two iron, and two coal, which is the same thing here. And how to make a compressor? A compressor is uh, six aluminum on the outsides, copper on the inside, an anvil, and then a basic wafer, which is the same thing as, what was it, uh, was it, I forgot, I, but you needed it for something, was it, oh yeah, for the advanced wafer, you just needed a redstone repeater with it, and for this one, for a basic wafer, you just need a redstone torch, and then you have the tier one rocket engine, and then, um, you'll need a nose cone, for the top of the rocket, which is three heavy-duty plates and a redstone torch. And then you'll need four rocket fins, which, so, um, which is 
one rocket fin is four heavy duty plates and two compressed steel and again that and that's all you need oh and also you need um eight heavy duty plates just for the rocket so then once you have all this stuff you take the four rocket fins here the nose cone at the top the engine there and then the um eight heavy duty plates and then if you want some storage in it, you can put chests in it. So right now you see it says just tier 1 rocket. If you put one chest, it will say storage space 18, then 36, and then 54. And then all you need to do is just get it, and you have it. So there's the rocket complete, and you can't place it down anywhere. You're wondering how, probably wondering how do you place it. So all this stuff you'll need to launch the rocket and survive on the rocket, or on the moon or whatever plan you're going to so the first thing you'll need is a rocket launch pad which is just uh three compressed iron and three blocks of iron which will give you nine rocket launch pads and that's all you need and again here i'll just get that uh you'll need a fuel loader which is um five compressed copper which is just copper and 10 canister, and it has to be a 10 canister, which is just 10. Uh, 2 compressed 10, which is 10. And then basic wafer, which is this. And you'll get 3. And then you'll get the fuel loader. And then you need a battery to charge it. You'll need redstone coal, and then 5 compressed 10. And then oxygen mask, which is really easy. 8 glass panes and an iron helmet. Oxygen gear, which is... Five fluid pipes, which is just glass panes, and then oxygen concentrator, which is four compressed steel and three compressed tin, tin canister, and oxygen vent. And there's how to make that again. You'll need a parachute, which is three string and three canvases. And to make a canvas, you'll need four string, sorry, a five string and two sticks to get one. So a lot of string. And then what you can do is, here, really quickly, I'm just going to um, get all of this stuff here that I haven't talked about. Uh, if you go in survival mode, actually, really quickly, I'll just say this first. So you can, what you can do is um, you can have two oxygen tanks in your inventory at once if you're in survival uh, it doesn't have to be different, so I can do two heavy oxygen tanks instead of, like, two, a light one and a heavy one or whatever. It can be the same. So how to make a heavy one, you'll need three compressed steel, three tin canisters, and three red wool. And it has to be that wool. And to make a medium oxygen tank, it's two orange wool, two tin canisters, and two compressed tin. And then to make a light oxygen tank, you'll need one compressed copper one tin canister, and one lime pool. So, I'll get this. Now, if you go into survival, you can go here in this extra tab, and you can put your oxygen gear here, your mask. You can put the parachute here, and then you can put... Here, wait, I'll go to... I'm just going to get two of these. And then... um. I already have this filled up. You're going to have to fill it up with oxygen. Okay, and then there's these two things, which I forgot what goes here. Okay, so what you can put in these things, you can put a frequency module and a shield controller. But you don't need these. A shield controller, which um just... I don't... Can you not craft it? I guess not. I guess you have to find that, which just protects you. Like, there's a... Um, shield around me, basically. And then on the moon... I don't know if on the other planets, but I know on the moon, there's, like, alien villagers things. <clears throat> and they, um, they have villages there. So you can use a frequency module, which, so then you can trade with them. Because if you don't have one, you can't. Which is just two redstone, redstone repeater, compressed aluminum. Whoops, wait, what? Two compressed iron and a basic wafer. And then you'll get that. And then, basically, that's all you need. And then, uh, here, I'm going to be, um, actually, never mind. So, what you need to do is you take the rocket launch pad, 
and all you need to do is just place them in a 3x3 three three area, then one will go up. Then you take the rocket that you made, you put it on top, now you can enter it. But if you try to launch it, it says you need some fuel. So, oh, also, another thing, if you put the oxygen mask on, then uh, you can see it when you go in um, third person. That's pretty cool. So, here, I already have all this stuff. I'm going to be using an infinite battery just because I don't want to have to charge it up. But, yes, you're going to have to charge up the batteries so you can charge up the fuel loader. So, all you have to do, put the fuel loader just anywhere here and then you'll need to if you get like buckets you have, I think find rocket fuel and then you can um fill it up and then it'll uh get this or then it'll get a fueled fuel, fuel canister and then you can just put them in here and then just keep going and then you're going to need the battery, and now, as you can see, um, if you press F, all of the fuel is loading in here, and um, there's all your inventory space, so I'm just going to get rid of all this real quick. Um, so, you have everything now, and I'm going to just go in survival mode, and then I will go, and with the tier 1 rocket, um... It takes a while to go to the moon, like maybe a minute, true or something. So, and like the higher tier ones are a lot faster. So, uh, it's easier to use those, but they are a lot more expensive. So, now all you need to do is you just need to press space. And then you'll get a countdown from 20. And then you will lift off into the moon. Okay, so we are about halfway, so as you can see on the left side, um, and you can see out of it, um, if you go into F5, um, on the left side, there's how far you've gone to the moon, and also what you can do is you can move it with just your normal movement, you can just move it around like this. Can I get it straight again? There. Okay, so I'm almost... Oh, yeah, here. So this is what happened. So, um, all of this... I think... I don't think, like, you can go to these yet. I don't think, like, they've updated enough or whatever. So you can go to either Venus, which is a tier 3, the overworld, and the moon. What? Uh, how do I get... Oh, there we go. Um, Mars, which is a tier 2, and then Asteroids, which, was, is a, which is a tier 3. So here, I'm just going to go to the moon, Then if you press launch, you're going to teleport there. And then, once you do this, you're going to, um, um, this thing is going to show up, and you're have to going to hold space. And if you don't hold space, and you're going really fast and hit the ground, then you will explode, or you will crash into the ground, and you will die. So you can see the moon now, as we're falling down on it. And we're almost there. Once you get really close to the ground, then um, this is going to show up and you're going to have to hold space even more. And then you'll go super slow and then lightly hold that down or whatever. And then you'll land and then you can access this, which is which has some fuel left from when I launched it. Uh, tier one or the rocket and the nine rocket launch pads. I will. I'm gonna try to show y'all one of those um, villages I was talking about. To make it quicker, I'll just go in spectator mode. Here we go. So basically, uh, I'll go into survival. If I take out this frequency module, um, if I go to one of them, it says I need, I'll need to equip um, a frequency module to communicate with them. So if I put this on, whoops. If I put that on, then I can trade with them and get stuff. Uh, you'll need to trade Lunar Sapphire. So what you can do is if you go on Overworld, you can, um, 
with 16 aluminum and advanced wafer, 3210, and 24 iron, you can create a space station. So if I create this, then here it is. Now you can um, launch to it. And you'll just teleport here. I don't know what this is. I think it's just where you spawn. And then now you can build off of this. This is really annoying though. Because uh, if you throw this, then it'll just start flying over there. Same with that. So it's kind of hard to fly in this. And then you'll have this, which has the rocket and the rocket launch pads in it. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video for today. Uh, if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. And if you want more of these videos, then comment down. And if you, while you're down there, if you want me to post any sort of type of video, then you can comment that also. So I hope everyone has a great day and good bye.